Now this lecture was inspired by Dr. Dave Simon, a current Sim fellow, former one of the chief residents. Um, very smart guy, teaches Sim. He's a very good lecturer. And basically we're not trying to let people expire. Don't let them expire. Like die. We let them expire. Shh. Brian Smith, who pointed out, but we don't want them to expire. Double X is over my eyes like a cartoon with your tongue hanging out. We don't want that type of expiring. We let them expire as needed. Now the issue is, how do I assess people for tidal volume? It's some people say eight cc's per kilo, or sometimes six cc's per kilo. You can titrate down if you're trying to do lung protective, non-obstructive strategy for the lungs. Okay, that makes sense? That's been thought of and uh, that's what's educated on assist control, volume control, based on an AR, ARSNET study on patients with the ARDS. Okay? But people will say, hey, are we going to use kilos? What's bad about using kilos is not accurate. We are not using the ideal weight that's been recommended on these charts. And I'll show you a picture of what the chart looks like. What ideal weight? I think ideal weight for me would be 140 pounds. That's like 80 or 90 pounds ago for my height. Because for your height, there's only so much distance that my lungs can re-expand. There's always going to be dead tissue. There's going to be functional residual capacity. That's what I'm going to care about. But how do we assess that for every patient? So I'm going to show you a picture. Hopefully it makes sense. The problem with height is if you have a guy who's like this, Mr. Daddy Long Legs, Compared to a guy who has a long torso, if you're athletic, you'll see this before. People with long upper torsos and shorter legs, and then people who are average, right? Average guy, all three of them, right? All three of them have different length from their chest wall, from the uh, midline area of the clavicle, down to the costal margin. If this makes more sense, over here. Each of them, based on their torso, has a different length or height. It's never been studied, but I bet you if you guys went out there, that would be the easiest way to prove how much their height is or length is. And if there was a formula to it, I need to figure out if I was smart enough to say this distance would assess how much lung volume this patient needs based on his height. And I can call it the Torres measurement, or I can call it the Booth Memorial measurement of lung to assess for appropriate lung volume for your ventilated patients. So again, people come in different heights or similar heights, but even if they have similar heights, have different length and size of their lungs. Make sense? Same height or similar heights, different lung length. And this I hope one day can be disapproved with this measurement. Regardless if it's an apt or a Home Depot or Lowe's to give you the tape measure, and maybe there's an app that I could just take a picture and assess your lung capacity, your tidal volume based on it. The future is, about, is what we make of it. We just gotta do some research, which I, which I stink at, okay? Don't let anyone expire. Expire your way, not die.